I'm Quinn McClinton, and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels, Big Rig Spotlight. Guys, it's Quinn, Elegance on 18 Wheels. We're down here at ARI once again, and I know you know these two gentlemen that's in front of the camera, but I bet you don't know the beautiful lady that's standing in between them. And the reason that she's standing there is because she owns this beautiful rig we're about to unveil. Unveil. And Terry, thank you so very much for letting me come down and have an exclusive opportunity to help show the world this beautiful truck that's blowing up right now. How are you doing today? Great, it's finished, yay! <laughs> yes, it is. And it's been, Terry's been working with me for a long time since she actually put this bad boy in motion. And Terry, why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Well, we started to build a truck. We had one we loved, but it was time to upgrade. So we duplicated the last truck, except this time we, I let to, I got to pick the colors. All and right. instead of playing, white for me was boring. I got gray and aqua and purple and Rick fought me all the way. We run team. I'm married to Rick Henderson. And <laughs> so we're going to introduce the truck, but it's a 2022 P389. Mm -hmm. It is a 334 inch wheelbase. It has a Cummins 565 motor, 18 speed. Okay. And it's got a 144-inch ARI rear bump. We did custom build, so I got to have fun with cabinetry and crown molding and all kinds Boy, of... Boy, it wasn't that fun. <laughs> it was. It worked with Brandon. Oh, my God, it was a blast. It really was. And anybody who can't work with Brandon is just... I don't know. He's so easy to work with. And then we had Dominic, my... I call him my cabana boy. He's like painting and shiny. And this truck has had hands-on on everything, the graphics and... We are just so pleased. I might cry today, but I'll try not to. <laughs> well, I might, I no might be crying, crying with you because no I'm... Um... <laughs> truck driving is what my husband says. So. Right. Uh, because this is an absolutely stunning rig. It is unbelievable. Dominique, I know you had a big part in this, and um, we've been looking at this bad boy for a moment, too. So you know, For a minute, we've been working on this one together. Oh. And, uh, directly with Terry and it's it's been fun to He's gonna drive behind us with a cleaning rag. <laughs> right. <There we> go. <laughs> and change this, change that, but man it uh it, it worked out perfect. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It is, it is it's unbelievable. It's like and, you have a vision and then you actually get it and it's like wow we got the vision. Mm -hmm. You know and it then happened. Brandon, with you putting this whole package together man I heard this was a, an experience for you too, huh? Absolutely it was. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, working with Terry has been absolutely nothing but a pleasure oh. um oh, you know we Jesus. we uh <laughs> we we had some uh some little battles here and there but uh we had a excellent i always won excellent <laughs> excellent time putting this together and yes terry always won <laughs> so guys now that we've got a, a word introduction about this truck i guess you won't mind uh, actually taking a look at this bad boy as it rolls out and I'm sure that Brandon, you got the magic touch to uh, get these big doors up so she can roll out, right? I certainly do. Let's go check Let's it go out. Let's go check it out.
You guys know that we've been doing some really cool stuff and really having an absolute awesome time coming down to CRS and ARI. Well, if this rig looks familiar, it's because we've been following this truck for, since it actually got started. And it was actually in a rendering format the first time that we actually got a chance to see it. And it has been so cool to get together and actually meet the owners to see how uh, CRS actually put the paint and the graphics on this beautiful rig and to know how ARI has once again worked their magic and put that big 144 inch bunk on here. Well, now is the chance, I get a chance to actually get everybody that's behind all of this. Oh, and we got the auto team that actually put a ceramic coating on this and he's gonna be here, Colin is gonna be here to talk about how that application went on here. It's so, so cool to actually see it and, and to hear him talk about it. But right now, I want to actually get a chance to talk to the actual owners. And that's what's really, really cool about it. So guys, in a few minutes, we're going to have Terry and Rick Henderson come on board, get over here and talk with us about this beautiful rig that's standing behind me. So guys, this is Quinn, Elegance 19 Wheels. We'll be right back with this beautiful truck and the people that actually own it and help put it together. We'll see you in a little bit. I'm Quinn McClinton, and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels, Big Rig Spotlight. Hey guys, we're back. I wanna welcome you guys to the Rick and Terry Show. <laughs> and I'm, I'm having so much fun with this interview. It is so, so cool. I want you all to actually meet Rick and Terry Henderson. They actually own this beautiful rig. Hi guys, how are you uh, doing? How are you doing, it's so good to see you guys. We had, we've been shooting all day today and we've had such a cool time, um, you know, moving the truck around in the audience and everybody's been crazy about us moving. Let's tell the world a little bit about this truck. Terry, I understand that this was pretty much your brainchild. Um, oh yeah. So he fought me all the way. <laughs> right? Yes, yes I did. Why don't, okay. we, why don't we tell the audience just a little bit about what it took to get where we're at and start out by telling us a little bit about the truck itself. What year is this? This is a 2022 P389 mm -hmm. and it is a 334 inch wheelbase. Wow. It's got a Cummins 565 18 speed. Yes, I shook my gears. <laughs> I can float my gears. That's beautiful. It took a while to learn it, but I can do it. And then um, our bunk is a 144 rear door front shower ARI bunk. And guys, we're gonna take a look at the interior and everything as soon as we get done with the interview. But I wanted them to actually get a chance to talk a little bit about how we actually got to this point. So Rick, so I understand that since Terry was behind the building of this, what was your, your, your input on getting this big rig to where we are today? Pretty much I picked the motor and the, and the, and the fifth wheel. Other than that, <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much all her tricks with all the different colors That's and everything else. That's absolutely true. I That's mean, true. I have to give her the whole credit for everything. <laughs> so the motor and the fifth wheel. <laughs> Man, that, and I said it had to have an 18 speed. That was it. That was my requirements. <laughs> He's a simple man. I'm a simple guy. So that and a lot of lights. <laughs> a lot of lights. A lot of lights. So how many lights do we have actually on here? Okay, so it's a non-metallic gray. Mm -hmm. And I love the aqua because I like the Caribbean, so it was my visual for why I'm here working. We both oh. run team on days, these nights. Okay. But ba basically what we did was I kept changing the frame from the aqua to the black for you know, and then back to gray. Yeah, Finally, I wasn't sure the green was gonna work. He okay. still calls it green. It's aqua. Aqua <laughs> green. But anyways. Aqua green. How about that? So, yeah. So we ended up, he finally said, just do it. I said, okay. So I just turned her loose. I on. said, you know what? Just go ahead. And I noticed that um, when it came down to CRS, did you have any special instructions? I, I saw the rendering and how everything was supposed to go. And uh, I know Dominique was, and, and the team were going to put all the striping and everything on it. Was it? Um, hard to come up with that with, with your rendering? Well, they sent us three uh, choices at first, and mm -hmm. one was out totally, this is not what we wanted, but mm -hmm. he knew I had the vision of the aqua and with white to 
pop it off the gray and then purple because we have all the purple lights underneath. Okay. So, and that's how it came up. But then we kept going back and kept going old school. And literally, I think Dom gave us three pictures. One we rolled out first and then the other two were like between it. And then we said, no, we decided on the one. And, and the original, there was actually striping on the top of the yes. box. Yes. That we chose not we to. We chose that Morris Less was more. We wanted old school look. That Morris, by, by putting less stuff all over it, it makes better space. You said that you've had a, a number of these trucks. So, what was uh, what did you have before this one? We've had a 140. Yeah. Yes, sir. Pretty much we identical. Have, we've had like this is number eight for us. Okay. Gray ride. So, what did you guys actually do with this big ride? What what what, what well, do you we guys? Pull, we pull dry van okay. um, and. Sometimes a flatbed with container, but we do A, A, and E, arms, ammo, and explosives. Oh, okay, okay. So it's pretty intense with, with what you guys, that's pretty much why this application is the way it is. You guys, pretty much, once you get rolling, you can't stop or you have to right. keep going. Right, yeah, we're, we're fully self-contained and that's priceless. Yeah. And you said that you've got a Cummins in, in this? Yes, sir. What, is that your, your engine of choice? Um, well, if I had it my way, I'd have a cat, but I couldn't afford to feed it. So <laughs> pretty much this is where we're at. And, and any more over-the-road trucks are pretty much Cummins or Detroit's. Okay. And like I said, I, I love the, the whole scheme. And, and, and Terry kept me uh, abreast of everything that you guys were doing. And guys, like I said, we're going to look at this whole truck. We went to a dam and we shot today. We, we've been at ARI and now we're at uh, CRS. And we trimmed trees along the way. Oh yeah, we, we've done some landscaping and everything <laughs> to get this beauty down by the dam. So you'll see all that. So with the bonk, I was able to, we went eight inches taller. We're like 13, four and a half on height. Rick's eyes, he's, Rick's scared of the height, but anyways. We're 13, three Some and people half. go 10 inches taller, but we have really tall cabinets in there now, so and that helps with a lot of storage because you go vertical. So, and, Terry, let me ask you that. that with, with you, you were talking about the interior. Tell, tell the audience some of the, some of the really cool factors that you added into this, because you, you did some really I I cool played things. with it. As a matter of fact, I'm very tall, so I raised my counters up three inches. Because we went with painted cabinets in the kitchen uppers, um, aqua to go with the frame. Mm -hmm. A lot of people thought it was crazy and lost my mind, uh, but it does, it's a winner. Everybody's loving it. I even have crown mold above the cabinets. Now. And like I said, guys, That's we're, gonna, a first. We're, gonna, we're gonna look at all the, the amenities that they have on the inside. And yeah. guys, I, I wanna get, take this opportunity now to give that, give you that window of appreciation factor. Okay, well. Who would you like to First say and you? foremost, you know, well, Peterbilt, TLG Group, we couldn't have built it if we didn't have the slot to build it because okay. everybody's running out of, you have to have a built slot. Mm -hmm. So we got that um, through Peterbilt, St. Right. And then uh, Brandon Sturgis, of course. Anybody wants to build with ARI, call Brandon. He's fun to work with. Yes. Um, I've made a lot of changes. I don't. I can't tell you how many changes I made on the engineering prints. And I have this wall. It's like a degree of separation between the okay. cab, the restroom, and the fridge. It's all up there. And then we have the wall, okay. which is also mega storage behind that wall. It goes like four, almost four feet deep. And Brandon worked with you on, on that one. On everything. Yes. They, and when it came, when it comes to CRS, what did what what how, how did well, they come the Well, the paint it goes to CRS. CRS is the painter for ARI. They did a great job. So, so you painted your tanks and uh, air cans. Well, yeah, we painted tanks. We painted air cans. We're having trouble getting out to the good polishers out west with mm -hmm. our runs. We kind of more Midwest back east. So okay. we went with painted tanks, painted air cans. It, it's painted visors. We window chopped. I don't know if you noticed. Yes. We window chopped our bunk. I believe that's a first for a large bunk. I okay. haven't seen any. Uh, another thank you to Nationwide Chrome. He provided all our lights. He did our lift pumper, all the lights underneath. There's 80 lights that glow purple, yellow, and purple, red. Rick gets excited by lights. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah. And he fought me on the purple lights on the last truck. Now he's like, oh, well, you, you can do this, but I have to have my purple lights. So, yeah. So he's, he's just, he comes around eventually, you know. So now, what, what, what did the auto guys do for you? Well, we had the Dom, Dominic, at the um, CRS. He said, hey, guys, you should check this out. We toured his facility super clean. And there was this car there that was, it was a Lexus that was this gray. And I'm looking at it and they do ceramic coating and mm -hmm. it looked like glass. So I'm like, 
well, one, I think I need to go buy that car now. Okay. <laughs> but for two, I was looking at it like, oh my God, Rick, this is our grade. Look at it. It was like looking into it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was after this um, extreme gray, the non metallic side of it was ex ex something different. I oh, liked the it. Car guys came in and ceramic coated every inch of this truck, and including guys, all the stainless, the stacks, everything. This is unreal. I'm, I'm, like I said, we're gonna look at this, and it is absolutely. And it just everything's kind of falling off, like the dirt hits it, and it just repels dirt. And yeah, so we're very excited about that. It looks amazing. We're still in awe of the truck. We I mean, are. We, we we just we, really we, got we, it we're, finished. We're, we're still. We stop mm -hmm. and go. Wow, that's nice. And then, and then again, like I said, Nationwide Chrome. He did the lights and all, but they also did the detailing in the cab of the. Uh, we have the triple diamond grill. And then we had triple diamond panel stitch for our cab ceiling also, and the doors. The and Nationwide Chrome also does that custom vinyl work for that. So it's the vinyl that matches the bump, the blue stitching, and the triple diamond to go. Kind of like the icing on the cake. Yeah. And guys, like I said, we're going to take a look at this. And we're going to have a few other people to come in that help put this together just to get their take on the, the whole network of, of what it takes to put a beautiful unit like this together. And then we'll actually get that chance to walk around the truck, look underneath the hood, and actually appreciate this beautiful work of art that we have right behind us. So, guys, at this point, I want to say thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's I, been really, an honor. I really appreciate you guys oh, spending the time with me. And, guys, this is Quinn, Elegance on 18 Wheels. We'll be right back with some more beautiful people that put this thing together. See you in a little bit, guys. I'm Quinn McClinton, and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels, Big Rig Spotlight. <laughs> We're back. Uh, you know, we just had a beautiful giggle time with uh, Rick and Terry, but now we want to get down to some of the, the real technical part that went into putting this beautiful rig together. And I've got the owner of the uh, car guys. And Colin, come on over, sir. Hi, Quinn. How you hey, doing? Hey, how you doing? Doing really well. You knocked this out the box, man. Tell me this whole process that you do that's driving the industry crazy right now? What, what, what's the process? Well, the, the process really is about getting a vehicle from, you know, damaged and um, uh, sanding mark riddled, car wash damage. I mean, we, we take ugly things and make them pretty and then we keep them pretty. That's, okay. that's really what our industry is about. I love that concept. A lot of, a lot of guys are out there either applying protection to damaged finishes. We mm -hmm. are taking a finish, making it perfect, and then applying a coating or a uh, protectant layer over what's perfect. Okay. So it keeps it perfect. Um, so really our, our, our name of the game is to perfect, protect, and um, we, make, we make your life a lot easier because it's easy to, to keep a vehicle clean um, when, it's per when it's perfect and protected. And I, I was at your shop uh, the other day and I saw you've got endless supplies of, of finishes that you you cater to from ferrari to from the top end to the low end you you've got some unbelievable things that you do to some of those cars over there man. lots of variety uh, even from a regular car wash guy they, they don't even do a regular car wash it's an intense an intense car wash that they actually do before they even get started but when it comes to something like this what how did you even fathom stepping into doing us uh you got a ferrari and then you got this cadillac of trucks what 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 how did you how did you approach that i understand it can be overwhelming yes uh, so so a big thing is the space not a lot of shops have the space that we have and okay. unfortunately we have uh ample space and a lot of room to accommodate a vehicle such as this okay. um and so when we get a vehicle in that's got you know high mileage especially you know one that might have been on the road for the last 10 15 000 miles over the last mm -hmm. two weeks mm -hmm. uh, a lot of grime on that vehicle yes um so uh we get a vehicle in and uh, we have the facility and the team to get that vehicle super clean and we go over the entire vehicle section by section um and uh, we have a wash bay isn't you know as long as the truck obviously so we right. wash the we wash the truck in sections uh and then once every inch of the truck has been cleaned and prepped degreased uh we get all the grime off behind the wheels we open the engine bay clean inside the engine bay once the car once the vehicle is just completely clean top to bottom uh then we start our uh, paint correction process so um it you know that's kind of the the short and sweet version of it 
Um, but uh, this truck we have well over 65 hours into. Um, and I understand you did not only the painted areas, you did the, the wheels and all the chrome and everything. everything that everything on here you yeah. laid your hands on. When this truck came in in January, I believe it was, uh, it was just a cab and a chassis, and we did uh, the same wash that we did uh, two weeks ago on this. Okay. Um, we did that same wash to get all the road grime and everything off of it, all the factory grime of it being transported, removed all that. Uh, and we ceramic coated even the frame that was just going to be under the bunk. It wasn't even going to be visible. Mm. But we know it's it's there, so right. we went ahead and ceramic coated everything before the bunk was even installed. So we can tell you a little bit about it. Okay. So so it is not like wax in any way. Wax has silicones in it, and once those silicones dry up, they turn into a dust, and the dust just floats away. Wax is wax is a dead technology to us. I have not personally waxed a vehicle in almost nine years. Oh, wow. um, and I used to be obsessed with waxing my vehicle, uh, but not anymore. So, uh, in a way, you have to lay it down smoothly so you don't see uh, spray lines or anything in it. Okay. Um, you know, granted, we are applying this by hand. We're not using spray guns. Um, but we have to level it out with our towels, and as it gases out, it hardens. And okay. it will literally harden to the point where if I dip a piece of paper in it and wait two, three days and come back, that paper will be rock hard. Wow. So it will have some flexibility to it, so it can't crack and, and break, but um, it will essentially be a, a piece of cardboard. Water, it will physical, physically resist um, very, very light impacts, um, and uh, when water hits it, it just will beat up and take the dirt with it. So it has a wow. self-cleaning effect as well, um, and this can last years. Um, wax jobs last for weeks. Our ceramic coating lasts for three to five years, and once it's on the vehicle, it's two layers. Baked onto the finish, and it's very low maintenance. Uh, I, we like to see the vehicle once a year just to uh, clean it and make sure the coating is still holding up. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, there's no waxing, there's no polishing, there's no extra additional things that we require you to do. And you give us a ballpark as to, you know, what it would cost to do something uh, of this, or from, say, my F-150 or something to. Uh, a unit like this. Yeah, so uh, typically uh, small passenger vehicles, pickup trucks, um, for the same product that's on this vehicle, we usually start at about $2,000. Okay. We can do wheels, we can do plastics, glass, um, leather interiors, carpets. Mm. Um, obviously we use different coatings for that, right. but we still can do the full protection package. Um, for a truck this size, uh, typically um, if it's a brand new unit, uh, usually Starting at around seven and goes up from there, depending on uh, the length of the, the length unit. and application of the truck. Yeah, what, and uh, if it's, intricate it is. Exactly. If okay. it's if it's new or if it's used, you know the price will vary, um, but each one's going to get the same amount of attention, uh, and it'll always be delivered to flawless. So that's really our, our goal with car guys. This is it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's like glass when you touch it, and you know, films and photos will never be able to tell you, you know, how smooth and beautiful this actually is. So. If you ever get an opportunity, go to your, tell them, give them your website and, and stuff um, that they can go and check out some of the stuff you've done. Yeah, uh, check out carguysclean.com. That's going to give you a, a really nice gallery of all of our work uh, we've done in the last couple years. Uh, also, check out our Facebook page. Facebook uh, has all of our most recent posts, everything from uh, Ferraris and um, Porsches, uh, SUVs, you name it, it's all on there. and. and see a lot of really interesting before and after. Personally, I have uh, over 15 years in this industry, um, and uh, with my team, we're a combined 30 years of experience. So give them your number, they can call you, and... Um... Yeah, 574-807-5763 is the shop number. You can call or text that number if you have questions. So. And guys, I just want to say thank you for tuning in, and we're going to be right back. We're going to talk to uh, Dominique about how you got the code on there. So... Guys, once again, it's Quinn, Elegance and 18 Wheels. We'll be right back with some more interesting stuff about this beautiful Peterville. Hang in there. We got more to show. Three. Well, guys, we're back. Hey, it's been one beautiful day here in the neighborhood with this beautiful Peterbilt. But I got one more person I need to interview, and yeah. you all know who he is. He's the man that's behind getting this great finish to look like this. Dominique, come on over here. How you doing, Quinn? How you doing, buddy? It's been a fun day it's so far. It has been an outstanding <laughs> day, man. Yes. We have had so much fun today. Dominique, how, just, just, just 
the audience hear me get excited about everything, but tell me, how has it been with this one? Oh, well, it's, I mean, it kind of goes back to the same thing as you. Uh, doing this <laughs> is exciting, and especially yes. when, you know, you got the passion like Terry has about a vision that she wants. I mean, yeah. that this was her vision, and to be able to be a part of coordinating a, a group and a team of different people uh, to make that vision happen, it's just, it's an incredible feeling. It and is. You know. I mean, and, and, and guys, if you ever get a chance, I, I highly recommend you come over to CRS. It is like a one-stop shop for everything that you would need for your, your truck, your car, whatever finishes and, and, and application from audio. This is the place to actually swing by and see. Donnie, you, you shot this in, in different formats. You added the graphics. You got custom uh, lettering and, and everything that's going on. And... Once again, you killed it. <laughs> I appreciate that. I do, and you know the the big thing about all that is that you need you need a team. You know you can't you can't do that all yourself. So to to be part of a, a network of all that, it's it's just a great feeling to be able to give this kind of result. And and guys, uh, this it, it is. And once again, you know we were down here a few a few weeks ago, and we had uh, Lloyd Williams unit down here that that everybody went crazy over, and and, and they it, we floored them with with the way we presented it. Now we got this absolutely stunning, mm. great, beautiful Peterbilt that that's that's rocking up, rocking the house and the internet right now. What is what? Is there anything that you would like to add to the the, the rest of the storyline that we just got from Terry, we got from Colin? What else would you like to add? To? Well, I mean, you know, one thing that I will say is that uh, I actually got to got to add to my network actually with this mm -hmm. build. Um, so Nationwide Chrome, who did all the underglow lights and uh, um, the smoke lenses and, and the visors and all the, the different custom things that really bring this all together, um, mm -hmm. I've actually been able to establish a network connection with him a little bit. Okay. And, um, you know, looking forward to being able to work with him on, on some projects and just, you know, the, the trucking world is all about community uh, community it is and and I'm building my community doing this stuff it's it's and, a fantastic feeling and it is actually growing I mean we from from the time we left Louisville man you have been like a rocket ship you have been going a hundred miles an hour and I'm so proud to be a part of you know bringing your, your, your organization you're, to like you're a big part of making it happen I, I, I appreciate, appreciate it. it I appreciate <laughs> it Donnie, but this is man this is your boat and I, I'm, I'm I'm blessed to actually have an opportunity to spotlight some of the stuff that we do but guys, this is just the beginning. Mm. Dominique and I have got some really cool stuff that's lined up in the near future. And this is just the beginning. But Dominique, once again, let, let everybody know how they can get in touch with you, man, and uh, get everything on. Call or text me at 269-262-2059. Find us on Facebook. Find me on Facebook. I made sure I'm easy to find. Uh, we got a bunch of ways you can get a hold of us. And guys, you just look at the, the stuff that's at the bottom of the screen. You know <laughs> This is my man. I got to keep him out here. Yeah. So we'll see you next time. We got a really cool unit that's coming up. But right now, we're going to really go ahead and kiss the bumper on this one like we did before. This is Quinn, Elegance and 18 Wheels with Dominique, CRS Customs, the car guys, and everybody else with Terry and Rick. I'm loving your truck. Thank you for being the star of our spotlight for today. We'll see you guys next time.
I'm Quinn McClinton, and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels Big Rig Spotlight.